By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim? Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And it's Tuesday, so that means that we are continuing with Robin's Vault. This is episode number five. And this, these are actually not my hands you see here on the video. These are the hands of Robin, and he's opening a Legends Booster Pack today. Now, if you've missed the opening of last week, you can click on the info card that's appearing right now on the screen, and it'll take you to an opening of The Dark. And it was quite a nice opening. We had a pretty good pull, so if you haven't seen it, I would definitely recommend it. And as for today, we are opening Legends. But what kind of set is Legends? And what cards are we actually looking for? Let's take a quick look at the set. The set Legends got released in June of 1994 and the set has 310 cards, so it's a huge set. Now, the most expensive card is the Tabernacle at Pendleville. You see it here right here on your screen. Very cool card. And the set also introduced some new mechanics, including the legendary creature type and actually also the golden creature type. Nico Bolas being, I guess, one of the most famous the bad guy of Magic the Gathering. And yes, EDH comes from these Elder Dragons. But the set didn't only have Elder Dragons as legends, it had many other legends and very cool ones. This is art-wise one of my favorites here, CV Theory. Do you say CV Theory? How do you pronounce this? Anyway, it's full of cool cards. Also, there were these special lands that did something special that is not very useful if you can still follow me. This is the Cathedral of Sarah, and what it does, it gives all the white legends banding with other legends. And you have that actually in every single color. How that's helpful? I have no idea. If you find a way to play with these lands, make them useful, let me know in the comments below because I love the art, so I love playing with them. Another new mechanic, or I should say a new subtype that could introduce were the legendary lands. Now Caracas is a famous legendary lands out of the set and what this one does it can actually save your legend. So you can tap it for one white but you can also tap it to return a legendary creature to your hand. Very handy even in today's modern game of magic. So that is Caracas. And um, another nice thing to know is that these new mechanics were introduced in the booster packs via a little rule card. So we're probably going to see this rule card explain the new rules that were in Legends. Now the last thing that I want to show you here is another new ability and that is Rampage. And I've just chosen the Craw Giant as an example here. Now Rampage was a little bit overrated by Wizards. They probably thought that, hey man, the whole game is about combat which it's actually not really so rampage is probably going to be really strong so we have to make sure that creatures with rampage are not too strong and i think the craw giant is a nice example of that it's actually one of the better rampage creatures so it's a six for trample for seven and it has rampage two meaning that for each creature that you block uh, craw giant with after the first one it gets a bonus in this case plus two plus two because it's rampage two if it would have had Rampage 1, it would have been plus 1, plus 1. Rampage 3, plus 3, plus 3. Now, in reality, this doesn't really hold because it only has 4 toughness. So you can just block it with one creature that has 4 power. There are enough of those in old school. Anyways, it's a nice idea and I like the card. So that was it for Legends. Now let's quickly go to the booster pack opening. And here we go. So Robin has the pack in his hand. As you can see, I fast forwarded it a little bit because we were still discussing a couple of things. How many cards are in these in, in these packs? Well, there are 15 tradable card games uh, cards in here. And also, you know, do you think it's been searched? Are there any clues? Well, I think you can look at the packaging and you can kind of tell there's a pretty big chance that it has been searched. But, you know, who knows? Um, now he's opening the booster pack where we're actually discussing the order still where is the rare where do we think the uncommons are and here's that rule card um that we talked about or that i talked about earlier i think it's just really cool you have to imagine internet was not really a thing at the time so how to spread new rules via a rule card anyway robin good luck on your booster pack of legends nah spannend ah they're good, they're good boys fight mama vv <laughs> What 
Scorpion. Die heeft ook een uh, Levi's reprint gehad, geloof ik. Oh, mooie art dit. Equinox Tippelend. Lekker. Wall of Vapor. Ja, weet je toch. Dan zie je altijd, je ziet hem in het beeld, de sage die wordt tegengehouden. Ah, oké. Okay. Lossel, dat is wel een pop Hij was niet helemaal scherp, hè? Ja, de meeste mensen kennen deze kant. Oh. Wall of Heat. Een beetje een rare... Een rare druk, hè? Ja. Prima na twee cents. Een goede blokketje. Oeh, Chain Lightning. Die is nice. Ja, die heeft denk ik ook wel value. Zo, ja. Zo. Lekker. Saver Falcon. Classic. Ja. Mini Sarah Angel. <laughs> ja, die is een Ik heb een blauwe dek. Wat hebben we hier? Deze ken ik niet. Ja, die is heel vet. Wat? Psychic Purge. Als we daar gaan mind twisten. Ja. Dan mind twist ik jouw perch. Ja? Dan klik 5 schade. Oh! Ja. Dan ga je doet één schade naar de target. En als je gevoorst wordt om te discarden, dan doet hij 5 schade naar de tekst. <laughs> dat is gewoon leuk om in je hand te houden eigenlijk. Hij wordt in sideboard gespeeld. Oh, ja. Dus hij tegen uh, discard tekst. We komen in de buurt van de rare. Het was nog wel wat spannend. Wat, wat... Oeh, Oeh, Stormseeker. Dat is een inkomen volgens mij. Ja, ik zie hem. Een goede inkomen. Ja. Lekker. Wat is dit? Ja. Demonic Torment. Dat is dus geen aankomen. Ja, zo. Wat een mooie art oh, trouwens. Zo. Kijk. Ik ken die hele kaart niet. Meer. Het gave zit in die kaart volgens mij niet gebeurd. Hij, hij wil niet. Uh... Nee, oh ja, daar komt hij. Zo. Erg mooi. Oeh, oh, die is wel gaaf. Ik kan niks meer. Kei Takashi. Prevent up to 2 damage to 1 target. Ik, heb, ik vind het best wel een pakje zo van. Ja. Even kijken. Ik denk dat dit te raar is. Oeh. Is dit nog een uncommon? Of een common? Oh, ja. Mountain Stronghold. All your land legends may band with other legends. Oké, okay, dit is niet te raar. Nee. <laughs> Nee, Divine Offering. Wat was de rare dan? Is dat toch de rare? Is dit dan... Ja, of dit is de rare. Dit de rare? Ja. Nee, ja. Opening een old school booster pack, always difficult. Identifying the rare, even harder. But it's definitely this card that he's holding right now in his left hand. Kai Takahashi. And the Storm Seeker is an uncommon in this pack. Let's just take a look at the entire uh, booster pack at the overview to kind of um, see what he pulled, what the value is here, and what cards are really nice. So we can see that the total value is around 50 euros, and chain light, I mean, near mint chain lightning. I should say mint, because it's booster fresh. How cool is that? Super playable card, um, just really beautiful. And it's, it's, it's around 10 euros, but I mean, Try to find it mint and somebody that wants to get rid of a mint chain lightning. I don't think it's going to happen for 10 euros actually. You also have Psychic Perch, it's a little blue card, which is great in sideboards, great against those discard tactics, uh, great against weenie decks as well actually. Then you also have Divine Offering. What you see lately, or what I see more and more, is people playing with three disenchants and one Divine Offering because you always have that artifact to get rid of and Divine Offering gives you life actually for doing that. So again, a very playable card. Stormseeker, maybe a little underplayed. You see it in some green sideboards when you're playing against those decks that just want to keep drawing cards. So this is a way to punish that. And also the card that maybe is the most beautiful art-wise of this entire pack is a Demonic Torment. This card has not been reprinted and it's just a beauty to behold. And then the rare, Kai Takahashi. It's a lot of fun to pronounce. It's not very useful, but it's one of those quirky legend cards. Talking about quirky, what about that enchantment alteration in the common slot? 
and also Equinox. Look at that art, it's just beautiful. It's one of those cards that you read, then you read it again and you think, can this be useful? And when you start experimenting with it, the answer is, is usually not really. Anyway, um, this was the opening. Robin, congratulations on your pulls. I think it's a very nice booster pack. And thank you for watching another video of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And if you want to support the channel, you can do so actually by now also becoming a patron on Patreon. You become a patron on Patreon. Makes sense, right? Of course, you can also like the video, leave a comment, uh, you know, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet do your thing let me know what you what your thoughts are on this booster pack what is your favorite card out of this pack and now let's go to the end scroll and take a look at the patrons of timmy talks Ik het dus, ik het dus, zomba kazee.